Oh, this looks like another portal! How did this get here? Please, go alert the mayor! We must figure out what's going on! You're here! We're worried that something has happened to the mayor. Go see if you can find him upstairs. The mayor must have gone through the portal! Place down the obsidian blocks and light it! We must find him! It looks like it's working again! But there's only one way to find out! Great work on getting us all through the portal! The mayor has been spotted inside that castle over there, and the bridge has been destroyed by some strange flying creature. We've started reconstruction, but it's going to take a while to fix. Wait a minute. Is that him up there now? You'll never save your precious mayor. That's right. I'm using his body to store my soul. So you can't have him back now. Besides, I've grown quite fond of his hat. <laughs> you who friend, over here! There's only one way we can help the mayor. We need to defeat the evil that controls him. First, we need to prepare and learn the way of the nether. There's no time to lose. We need to venture further in. Let's go. This terrifying biome is Soul Sand Valley, out of ancient debris here. We will need ancient debris to start crafting the strongest armor in all of Minecraft. Take this pickaxe and collect eight pieces of ancient debris. Return to me once you're done. Good job! That should be enough. Now, let's get going! Oh no! This looks like the remains of a ghast attack. Thankfully, it seems whoever lived here got out just in time. Quick, smelt the ancient debris to create netherite scraps. And let's keep moving! 
We don't know if that ghast is still around. Hurry! Brilliant work! Now, let's go! It's not a good idea to stay in one place for too long in the nether. What was that? <sighs> Hmm. I just had a great idea. You go on ahead without me while I take some important notes. You survived! I'm not sure why you didn't take the secret passage instead. Anywho, let's press on. <gasps> Do you see that beast? That's a hoglin. They're dangerous, so keep your distance. According to my research, warped fungus terrifies them. Let's keep close to that warped fungus path and keep moving. Those cursed piglins. They've stolen some warped fungi from the path. Friend, could you get the warped fungi back? I believe that cave is our best bet at recovering them. I'll keep watch! Phew! You made quick work of those piglins! Now, place the walked fungi along the path and we'll press on! Thanks! That ought to keep the hoglins away! Let's go! Looks like this place is deserted. We should make use of that crafting bench while we're here. Combine the gold ingots you got from the piglins with the netherite scraps we smelted earlier. 
Then we will have ourselves some pure netherite ingots. Fine work indeed! All that stands between us and base camp is the peaceful warped forest. Friend, use the warped vines to climb up the ledge. See, you two have been busy gathering resources from my domain. How very foolish of you. This should put a stop to you, troublemakers. Hoglins! Piglins! Attack! And that's my cue. Best of luck, hero. I'll see you by the river ahead. Jump on one of those striders! They can provide a safe passage over the lava! Use the warped fungus on a stick! It'll help you control the strider! Good work! You made it across! Now let's keep moving! It looks like there is an old netherite forge over there! Now it's time to get serious! Place your diamond gear on the table and combine each piece with, with the strength of netherite and make it much stronger! My, my! What fine craftsmanship! There are some old netherite armor pieces in the forge chests! Equip them along with your newly crafted chest plate. We should now be ready to face the corruption inside the castle. Let's head back to camp and see how that bridge is coming along. Huff. This ends now. Scientist, you're going straight into my cage. Now, to deal with you. Hoglins? Attack! Friend! Please help me! I hate cages! They scare me silly! I have just the thing. Hero, take this bow and shoot that target block to free the scientist. Thank you, friend. I had almost cracked the lock, though. But your help is still appreciated. There's no time for this. The Hoglins are everywhere. Go on ahead. Save our mare. He's right. There's no moment to lose! Impressive. Quick, jump on the levitation you device! to craft yourself some netherite equipment! No! Ah! Hero, you saved me! We must get out of the nether and back to the safety of Poppy Isle! There is a portal at the top of the castle. If my calculations are correct, it should take you directly back home. The mayor may be safe, but corruption still lingers in the air. I shall remain and research more. Farewell, friend, and great work.
Hello there. I'm so glad you're here. As you can see, our island is in desperate need of bees and plants. No one on this island has the parkour skills required to make it through the treacherous entrance to Honeycomb Hollow. A dear old friend of mine lives on Honeycomb Hollow and has all the knowledge you will need to introduce the bees to this island. Follow me to Poppy Isle Docks. There should be a boat waiting for you. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Wait, you're not a bee. Bees hide away during rain and at night, so you can't possibly be a bee. Also, you're too big. I need to get out of this rain. Quick, follow me back to my home for shelter. My wings are all wet. Now I can't use them until they dry off. Bees have the right idea. That's why you'll never find them outside if it's raining. If you're going to make it on this island, then you'll need to learn. 
The way of the bee. Oh, it looks like the rain is stopping. Follow me. I want to show you something. Achoo! Hmm. Pardon me, my hay fever is still in full swing. Where were we? Oh, yes. Here is your first lesson. Do you see all of those flower fields? They're the result of all the bees' hard work on this island. Bees travel from flower to flower, gathering and spreading pollen everywhere. Pollen is vital for plant growth. When a pollen-covered bee visits a crop, it grows faster. That's why I plant all my crops near bees. Right, let's continue learning. Come this way. Bees, like me, will only attack if they feel threatened, so don't do anything to cause alarm. You need to be very careful around bees, because if a bee stings you, it will die. Bees are attracted to flowers, so if you want a bee to follow you, just hold a flower near it. Keeping the bee population count high is vital for a healthy ecosystem. Bees love flowers so much that if you feed flowers to bees, they will breed and create even more bees! Another beautiful bee for Honeycomb Hollow. I think we'll name it... Buzz! I haven't used that name yet. Yes. Buzz will do just fine. You did a great job out there. Did you work up an appetite? I'm starving. Let's get something to eat. That bee nest is dripping with honey. Now we know we can harvest from it. When a bee visits a flower, it gets covered in pollen. The bee will take pollen back to the nest and the honey level will increase. The first thing we need to do is place a lit campfire under the bee nest to pacify the bees inside. Take this campfire and try it for yourself. Great work, now we can gather some honey. To gather honey from the nest, you'll need this glass bottle. You don't need to feel bad about gathering from the nest. They don't mind. As long as we help them, they will help us. Now, could you go gather us some honey? I'm starving. Honey always hits the spot. It's a great cure for hunger and an even better cure for poison. If you're poisoned, just eat some honey, and it will take care of the rest. I'm a bit tired of it, though. I would give anything for some cake. Right, back to work. Come with me. I need your help with something. As you can see, there are no bee nests in this area. That's because natural bee nests can only be found on trees. The south facing side of the tree to be exact. Beehives face south because otherwise bees would have a hard time keeping track of time. 
They can always work out when to start and stop working as long as the hive entrance is facing south. Now, let's build a beehive here since the bees can't. We're going to need three honeycombs and six wooden planks. You can use these shears on bee nests to get honeycombs. As for the wood planks, you can find some inside the shed that's just over there. Here is also another campfire. Don't forget to place it under the beehive before shearing for honeycomb. Return to me once you have crafted the beehive. What fine craftsmanship! This beehive is magnificent! This isn't the first time you've crafted something, is it? With that said, I have nothing left to teach you. You now know the way of the... Achoo! Ahem. <clears throat> Bee. I will show you a shortcut back to Poppy Isle when you're ready. I'm sure you have a lot of business to take care of. When you're finished on the island, come talk to me in my nest. Uh, I mean home. Right, it's time for you to head home. I've noticed your island is a little barren, so I prepared this for you. I have sent the beehive you crafted earlier with some bees inside back to the mayor. Also, have some flowers and these saplings to take back with you. All right, friend, follow me and I'll show you the easy way home. Here, take this elytra, and like a true bee, fly back to your island with everything I have given and taught you. And remember, take care of the bees and they'll take care of you! You're back, and it looks like you got everything. We haven't a moment to lose. Meet me on top of Poppy Isle Hill. Let's start with the beehive. Place it down so we can get some bees on this island. We have bees now! That brings a tear to my eye. 
This is the start of a new era for Poppy Isle. Next we should place the flowers down so the bees can get started harvesting and spreading the pollen. Wow, what beautiful flowers! I can't remember the last time I saw such bright colours. We're making great progress. Next, we should place down the saplings you have brought over from Honeycomb Hollow. Please adventurer, place these saplings in the areas I've marked out around the island. Amazing! The air already feels so much cleaner. I can't wait until they're fully grown. However, I don't think the bees came quick enough. I've just been informed that one of the villagers has become rather ill. I've heard rumours that a honey bottle can cure poison and illness. Could you gather some using this glass bottle? I'm going into the village to see them now. Is that honey? Will that really help? Uh, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it worked. I feel much better already. Thank you so much. Incredible! You're a true hero, adventurer. We owe you big time. We want you to know that you're welcome to make this island your home. By the way, I've been thinking about my old friend, Bee Scientist. When you get the chance, could you bring him this cake as a way of thanking him for teaching you? I know it's his favourite. Thanks again, hero. You've really saved us all. What's that you have there, friend? Cake? For me? You really came all the way out here to bring this to me? You're a true friend. Not only to me, but also the bees. I've noticed some big changes on Poppy Isle. When you fly back, you'll see just how much impact you and the bees have had. Farewell, friend. Thanks again for the cake! <laughs>